this is my second example of positive clamper circuit with bias let me read out the question calculate the charging and discharging time of this circuit i have to calculate at first charging and discharging time of the circuit and i have to draw output voltage vo for the uh, for this given circuit but there is a slight problem consider the diode as silicon diode here i have to consider the this diode as silicon diode and its forward resistance rf equal to 0 see this circuit contains a capacitor of 0 0.1 microfarad load resistor of 47 kilo ohm and a silicon diode so i can expect that this is a clamping circuit or clamper circuit and as the diode is in upward direction so this could be a positive clamper circuit see here the complexity arises when this we are told that this diode is a silicon diode we have connected a voltage of 5 volt in series with this diode this is our biasing voltage and we are applying a square wave here this is its positive half cycle with positive peak plus 10 and negative half cycle with negative peak minus 10 therefore at first i have to calculate charging time and discharging time to ensure that this circuit will act as clamper circuit and after that i have to draw the output voltage to draw the output voltage we have to find out the output voltage during the forward bias of the diode and the negative and the reverse bias of the diode okay so let me start our analysis see here we have positive half cycle during the positive half cycle this terminal will be positive and this terminal will be negative this will not put the diode in forward bias therefore we cannot start with positive half cycle we have to start with negative half cycle during negative half cycle this terminal will be positive and this terminal will be negative see the positive side is connected with the p side of the diode and the negative side is connected with the n side of the diode so i can say this negative half cycle will put the diode in forward bias therefore we have to start our analysis with negative half cycle first now during the forward bias of the diode a charging current i will flow in the circuit and it will charge the capacitor positive in this side and negative in this side and as the capacitor gets charged through this diode it has a forward resistance r f equal to zero therefore our total charging time tau c will be equal to 5 r f into c forward by forward resistance equal to zero so our total charging time will be equal to zero this implies that after the application of input voltage our capacitor will charge up instantly without any time delay and second one is total discharge time when the diode is in reverse bias we will replace this diode with an open circuit therefore this capacitor the voltage that is stored in the capacitor will be discharged through this load resistor rl therefore our total discharge time will be tau d equal to 5 this resistor rl into c here our rl equal to 47 kilo ohm 47 into 10 to the power 3 and capacitor has a value of 0 0.1 into 10 to the power minus 6 which implies that our time will be equal to 23.5 millisecond now see total charging time is 0 and total discharging time is 23.5 millisecond so i can say that the charging time is much much smaller than total discharging time due to this high discharging time the capacitor will hold up its voltage vc for the half cycle when this diode is in reverse biased so this circuit will be a clamper circuit okay now i will start my analysis with negative half cycle during negative half cycle this terminal will be positive and this terminal will be negative and this diode will be in forward biased as we are as we are told that this diode will be silicon diode therefore i will replace this diode with a 0.7 volt voltage source when the diode is in forward bias so during negative half cycle diode is forward biased so it is replaced by a voltage source of 0 0.7 how do we replace this voltage source see if this is a symbol of a diode it will be forward biased when the voltage source positive is connected in the p side of the diode and the negative terminal is connected to the n side of the diode therefore 
the voltage source has also two terminal positive terminal and negative terminal the positive terminal will be in, in the direction in the side of p and the negative terminal will be in the side of n and this will be this will show a voltage of 0.7 volt between this terminal between this terminal and this terminal okay see here our diode was in upward direction that means in during forward bias i will replace this diode with a voltage source like this and that voltage source have a value of 0.7 volt look here i have replaced the diode with a 0.7 volt voltage source whose negative direction in upward and positive direction in downward direction and now as the diode is in forward bias a current i will flow in the circuit throughout this indicated arrow therefore this capacitor will get charged with a voltage of vc and the capacitor in the capacitor this terminal will be positive and this terminal will be negative the direction in which the current is entering will be positive and the direction in which the current is leaving will be negative there is no current flow in the inside of the capacitor the current always flows in the outer region of the capacitor because of the high dielectric of inside the capacitor okay now i have to at first i have to calculate the output voltage v o here see here the positive plus 5 volt has its positive terminal in upward direction and the negative in downward direction the end this 0.7 volt has a has negative terminal in upward direction and positive terminal in downward direction and we are taking the output voltage across this terminal and uh, this terminal in which a series of two voltage source 5 volt and 0.7 volt is connected in opposite direction see point this 5 volt will try to flow the current in this direction and this 7 volt will try to flow current in this direction therefore the voltage difference between these two terminal will be our v not will be equal to 5 volt minus 0.7 volt that means as long as the diode input voltage is at minus 10 volt our output voltage will be equal to 4.3 volt okay our output voltage will be at 4.3 volt after that i have to calculate the value of vc in this circuit to calculate the voltage that is stored in the capacitor during the forward bias of the diode i will apply kashoff's voltage law in the circuit inside this green shaded rectangle so i will apply kvl at in clockwise direction okay in clockwise direction at first i will encounter this input voltage vi and its positive terminal so its voltage will be minus minus 10 volt after that i will encounter this C the voltage across this C is VC and its this terminal is negative therefore voltage will be positive after that I will encounter this 0.7 volt and its negative terminal that means our VC will be our this voltage will be positive and after that I will encounter this 5 volt and its positive terminal so its voltage will be negative and their sum will be equal to 0 from which I can calculate VC equal to 15 14.3 volt so during the cap negative half cycle the capacitor stores a voltage of 14.3 volt and due to high discharging time of the capacitor i will assume that during the positive half cycle the voltage across the capacitor will be equal to 14.3 volt during positive half cycle of the square wave this terminal is negative and this terminal is positive therefore this diode is in reverse bias so i replace this diode with open circuit now let me show you what happened now let me show you what will happen then during positive half cycle diode is reverse biased so i will replace it with open circuit and due to during that interval our voltage across the capacitor will be 14.3 volt see the capac the resistor or the see the diode was connected between this terminal and this terminal and i have replaced that with open circuit as this circuit gets opened i can assume that this branch does not exist in our circuit so i will remove the branch where the diode was 
connected so our circuit will look like this now i have to calculate the output voltage here and we are taking the output voltage across the load resistor whose positive terminal is in this side and the negative terminal is in this side therefore i will apply the kirchhoff's voltage law in this circuit in the clockwise direction okay let's apply kirchhoff's voltage law at first i will encounter this input voltage of 10 volt and its negative polarity so its voltage will be plus 10 after that i will encounter this capacitor okay its negative polarity so its voltage will also be positive and after that i will encounter this rl and the voltage across is it uh, vo so its voltage will be negative so i can show that output voltage equal to for 24.3 volt during positive half cycle and see during the negative half cycle output voltage was vo was equal to 4.3 volt okay so this is our output voltage during the positive half cycle our output voltage will be equal to 24.3 volt and during the negative half cycle our output voltage will be equal to 4.3 volt now see the positive clamper has shifted the dc level of the alternating voltage or the square voltage by an amount of 14.3 volt from this dc level its positive peak will be 10 volt away and its negative peak will also be 10 volt away okay as the as this circuit shifts the dc level in upward direction it will be a positive clamper another thing is that during the input voltage our peak to peak value was 20 volt here our maximum peak is at 24.3 volt and minimum peak is at 4.3 volt so peak to peak voltage will be 24.3 minus 4.3 will be equal to 20 volt that means our analysis is perfectly okay that's it thank you